cups. My party at a We're back. party favorite. Let's go. We're back. The trophy case filled with the magic. Best time of the year. When you Jackman's in the building. Everyone, say fun. hello to Jackman. What up, gang? J Money, Richie, how's your weekend, bro? Brother? Good. Um, had a good weekend. A uh, couple of beers on Saturday at the Bowls Club. Ooh. Yeah, bro. The Campiel one, best in Brisbane. Really? Yes. Why Overlo- is that? Overlooks the city. City views, bro. Oh. And Fuck. the six dollar ninety beers. Oh. Six dollar ninety, <laughs> bro. Schooner or pint? Yeah, schooner, bro. Yeah, still. yeah, it's still, yeah. yeah it went down so well because it was cheap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes it makes it even more Bro, better. It was it was. What about yourself? How was your weekend? Ah, uh, mate, it was pretty good. Just, you know, a couple uh, home beers. Oh, on, nice. On Saturday, so just chilled. You know, had the footy up. Yeah. Um, you know, the Reds, Queensland Reds, got up. They beat the Chiefs, hey. They beat the Chiefs Ooh, in uh, I think yeah somewhere in New Zealand. Uh, and yeah, they were paying like 11 bucks oh, to start the week. Did you talk money? Nah, nah. Oh. Sadly not. But one of my mates did get on. He had he had it in his multi. Yeah. Everything got up except for this dollar fifty favorite, like I think, no. Yeah, a horse or something. Um, oh. So I mean, could have been millionaires. But Far out. But it wasn't, wasn't to be. That's so unlucky, man. Yeah. But I guess that's how those things happen, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's right. That's Bet right. responsibly. That's it. Everyone? Gamble Bet responsibly. responsibly. Yeah, yeah. Gamble responsibly. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, speaking of footy. Yes. And gambling responsibly. We have a new spot now. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to um, <laughs> Nance and Ladbrokes. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just <laughs> cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> Nah, um, we've got State of Origin. Yes. One of the biggest, you know, rugby league games of the year. Yes. That everyone gets up for. Yep. Um, Papua New Guinea goes crazy for State of Origin. Like, you know, there's some crazy stories out there and we've had first-hand experience of what it is like, uh, you know. To you, what, what does sort of State of Origin mean? I actually, yeah, that's a really good question because in PNG we're so madly in love with the game. Like yeah. we love rugby league so much that even though we weren't born in Queensland or New South Wales, we yeah. just get behind the teams that we uh, respectively support. But for me, I think it represents like the biggest rivalry in sport, yeah. not just NRL, but I think um, sport in Australia. And I think it's it shows the passion that each team have for their own state Mm. and getting like I think what Queensland do so well is when they go back to their country towns and stuff I think this year they're going up the cans Um, but then when they go back to their towns they give back to the sport you know give back to the grassroots level grassroots level so I think to me that's like what origin is about is about representing your state and giving back to what um, like the state that made you and I think yeah, that, to me that sort of uh, epitomizes what what origin is. What about yourself? Yeah, I you know when I look back, I think about origin. You know, I think about you know being a young kid mm. uh, in in my ha- household, and you know you're just prepping for origin. Origin night's coming around the corner. You're at school, and you know everyone's doing five kina, five kina, five kina <laughs> yes. and then like you know you. You're going because I was a, always a Queensland supporter. Yeah. Um, so you know you're going to your blues mate like ten kilos. Like, <laughs> let's bet, let's bet yeah. who's gonna win tonight. Um, so those are the memories. Yeah. And then, you know you get to the Avo and you know tempers are flaring and everyone's just keen to watch uh, the game start and then the game kicks off and you know you're around your household you're watching. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know because Papua New Guinea is, uh, you know, madly in love with rugby league. Mm. Like, you know, people travel or they walk, you know, kilometers just yeah, to I'm go to a TV screen and watch like their favorite players, yeah. you know, do what they do best. Um, and that's just, that's just the love of the game. I don't know if anyone's seen that picture of, I think it was at uni, yeah, University of... Uh, PNG. PNG, they had 
you know, they had one little TV screen in the dorms, and it was just like, you know, two, two look like 200 people yeah. just gathered around. So like, I mean, if you talk about, you know, rugby league, you got to talk about Papua New Guinea yes. and how crazy it is. Like you, you ask anyone, uh, even Rory Ferguson, who plays for South Logan Magpies now, like. He tells me about the stories when he goes to play the hunters and stuff. Yeah. And they get on the bus and all these little kids are chasing the bus, like hitting the window and asking for, you know, oh, you should go. Yeah. Tra training yeah. Joss's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it's a crazy time for us. And mm. yeah, as it is in Queensland, yeah. you know, like, I think uh, Brisbane's uh, in love with rugby league and it's going to be a, a massive game. Yeah. Uh, but we've got our own sort of predicted lineups. Yeah. Well, Jackman has. He, <laughs> he, he <laughs> actually put some time into <laughs> um, it was quick, yeah. putting together a, a little predicted lineup. I just got the Fox Sports one. Um, and we're just going to roll through them. Yeah. And then, you know, we'll roll through blues and then put them aside and we'll uh, go through. The Queensland lineup and discuss, you know, mm. debate who should be in there, who shouldn't. Yes. Uh, what's your view? What's my view? Yep. So you want to start us off? Yeah, bro. Actually, before we move to this topic, I remember another thing with Origin back home is kids would get their face painted. Like mm. you'd go and pay five kina and like oh five kina, sorry fifty to, uh, to, to like one kina, and you get one side painted with like number five or whatever player you love, and then the state origin shit. Um, emblems and stuff. Do you I remember just, that? Bro? I just remember. Bro, that. that was the best. You're man. taking me back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, my my team for um, Queensland. It's um, I guess a lot of this is a little. Oh, I'm covering my face with this screen. But um, a lot of a uh, lot of this is loyalty to uh, some players, and then also I guess um, a little bit of fresh fresh face come into this team based on what I've watched. Yeah. I think a lot of people might have different opinions, but... Um, Just keep them to yourself. Yeah, <laughs> oh, let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Comment below your predicted lineups. Yes, you know? yes. Um, so, because by the time we release this episode, I think on Sunday, uh, the teams would be named too as well. So, yeah, it'd be Perfect. good to kind of see how we go. Um, yeah, awesome. So, uh, for fullback, I've got Ponga. Um, I'll run through everything and then we can talk, th yeah. Um, and then on the wings, I've got Xavier Coates and Selwyn Cobo. Yep. Uh, in the centers, I've got Valentine Holmes and the Hammer. Uh, and then number six, uh, my mate, Mad Dog Money Monster, down at oh. um, Melbourne Storm. And then uh, uh, number seven is Daily Cherry Evans. Um, heads that cherry on top. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and then uh, number number eight, uh, two of my, uh, number eight and ten is Tino uh, and uh, Christian Welsh from Melbourne Storm, Tino Fasu on Malawi. And then number nine, I've, I've started with Ben Hunt. Beautiful. Um, and then the back row uh, and the lock 13, I've got Felice Capuzzi at 11, Kurt Capewell at 12, um, and then Patrick Kerrigan yep. at 13. Lovely. And then the bench, uh, yeah, once again, gone with Harry Grant, had so much value. And then Jairo, Lindsay Collins, and David Fafita, he's been killing it. So that's, that's my, um, my predicted team for the Maroons. Love that lineup. Yeah. Um, I think all those players that deserve to be there, they've yeah. had, you know, ripper starts yes. of the season. Um, and you can see it. Like all the Queensland teams are going well compared to last two to three years. Um, so I think that's a really good lineup. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'll Do touch on yeah. this one. Yeah, touch on the Fox Sport one and then I guess we can. All right, let's go. So uh, this is uh, Fox Sports lineup. We've got uh, Maroon. Kevin Ponga. Yep. Then on the wing, Gagai. Ah, and okay. Then, then uh, in the centers, we've got Val Holmes and Hammer. Yep. Then on the other wing, Cobo. Yep. Um, Munster, Money Munster, and Cherry on top at seven. Yeah. Uh, then you got Josh Papali'i. Oh, wow. Eight. Uh, ben Hunt, you know, scored the winning try last mm. year. Great try. Needs to be in the team. Uh, Tino, Big Tino at 10. Uh, Kurt Capel, 11. Yeah. Felici Kafusi at 12. The big Finn Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 
looking for him to make some big hits. Bro, Jerome better watch out. Oh man, if he his, gets picked, his ribs <laughs> are gonna be dead. Uh, Pat Carrigan at thirteen, yep. playing amazing footy with the Bronx. Uh, then you got yeah Harry Grant, uh, Ruben Cotter. Ah uh, yes, who's been out of form, but the Cowboys have been out of yeah. form. Yep. Um, then Jai Arrow, Lindsay Collins. Ah uh, okay. So I mean, out of there. I'm looking at it, uh, yeah, I'd say, no David Fafita. Yeah. They've, they've left him out. They've left him out. But and obviously, he, he should be in. Yeah. Um, and they've left Christian Welch out too as well, because they've gone Papa Lee and Tino. They've yep. gone Papa Lee. I mean, so we can, we can talk about it um, and then go from there. So yeah. what, what, what's your thoughts? Because I think the first one that I named that was different to yours was Gaga on the wing yes yep. and you had Coates on the wing so let's dive into that a bit deeper and yep. um, you know I think where they're coming from is they want to keep Superman state of origin yep. Gaga in the team because you know he he doesn't well just saying he, he doesn't play as well as he does in Origin for his club, the Knights. Yep. Uh, but whenever he does play Origin, he turns into Superman, and he does all the right things. Uh, but I would like to see him back in center, mm. um, just because I we know what he can do, uh, and you put Hammer on the wing. Mm -hmm. I just think Hammer has too much speed to burn. Um, he just you know he, he needs to be on the wing getting the ball from Gagai and like just you know no one's going to catch the hammer when he's full flight yeah that's just my thoughts uh and what's your thoughts on Xavier yeah I, I love Coates because I think first of all he's PNG and camera too as well so no nah, I'm just <laughs> shout out golf. Uh, but um I think the reason why I've chosen him as in my team is because he he has that height um like over Gagai yeah and I think um, with the way Queensland, uh, New South Wales are going with picking um, Toro on one wing, it mm. adds that uh, advantage over. Yeah. That's not to say like Gagai has proven that he's such a gun with origin, scoring so many tries um, and just playing out of his skin. But I think that's the biggest reason why I've gone um, Coates. And I think, you know, obviously he hasn't been playing the very best footy at the Storm, but the, like when you wear that Queensland jersey from what we read in here, like it just turns people into like Superman, like Gagai. So I think... It, um, and he's quick too as well. Yeah. Like having, having the pace on the wing with like uh, Hammer, yeah. to your point, um, having him on the other side of the wing or in the centers, it just adds so much. And I think, you know, people, like if they do, like they'll no doubt pick Latrell in the Blues team. And oh, then yeah. if they do pick Turbo, who isn't 100% fit, mm -hmm. like having two speed stars on the outside, like they can just get around him a lot quicker and, you know, creates that attack, attacking threat. Yeah. on the outside so that's why I, I kind of chose Xavier no that's I, all great points mm. like I think those guys are, are great players um, but it'll be interesting to see who, who yeah. sort of takes that center wing position yeah. uh, and you know if, if Xavier comes into the team yeah um, yeah just because they're I, I'd say his form hasn't been great with the Storm but Storm's form as well hasn't been what we're used to, yeah. Yeah, what we're used to. Um, then the second one was number eight, Josh Papali'i. Yeah. Uh, and you had Christian Welch. Um, so I think with Josh Papali'i, like, you know what you're going to get. Yes. Uh, just hard carries through the middle. Um, he's a big bowling ball. So, you know, if... In, in that origin space, you know, you just need a, a big physical body in the middle of the field. Um, the other side to that is, you know, he, he is getting on mm. in his ears. And uh, I think, you know, Christian Welch has been, you know, going so well. And he's a, he's a leader in his, his team at Storm. So, yeah. I mean, that's another tough one. Yeah. I, that's, yeah, I kind of was tossing up between him or Papa Lee. And I, the reason why I kind of chose him was it was because of like his MCL that he didn't, he didn't get picked last yeah. year. He had an MCL injury, so that or ACL, sorry, and that wiped him out for like eight months. 
Yes. Um, and he would have obviously also kind of been in the contention for the Kangaroos tour at the back end of the year. So Fuck. that impacted him. And I think coming back from the injury hasn't been easy, but he's shown that like he's been able to do the hard yard. Like, like I'm sure he'll be a strong voice too as well with his leadership qualities coming from Melbourne Storm. So I think, yeah, it, it's a toss up between those two, but nothing kind of splits them. I think either one you go with, they'll both, I reckon they'll both do the job. Yeah, no, 100%. And the Fox Sport guys, they had Ruben Cotter yeah. uh, on the bench, uh, whereas I see you've got David Feeder. Yes. Um, I think that's just a no-brainer. Yeah. Um, I'm picking David Feeder yes. to be on the bench over Ruben Cotter. Yep. Yeah. Um, I just think Ruben Cotter hasn't been playing too well although he's you know he's made a few tough carries up through the middle mm. with the cows but the cows haven't been going too well uh, the only standout for them has been Valentine Holmes and he's and his origin jersey yeah. again um, what's your thoughts on on f- big for you though? yeah he from some of the stats that I've been reading about him he's had his best season like his most engaged season in terms of amount of times he touches the ball the number of meters he's making and even just did you see the try he's got on the weekend oh, bro he burned dang. the fullback for nights and Kalen Ponga yes like well Kalen he gave like he got given a head start but yeah but still he's still, a forward oh bro he's, yeah. yeah 100% so I think um, just having that form and overall I think the, the Titans are in a good position I think they just um, obviously need to work on the defense but that, that club's going well and it's good to see and good to see someone like David playing so well so oh, yeah. yeah he's um I can't wait for him I might put him as an anytime try scorer I reckon Ooh. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't that everyone but Ooh. he's just I think he'll just come off the I reckon around the 40th like just after half time yeah or even just before and just add that burst of energy like those forwards that are tied in the middle yeah. just come in play off short from daily and you know or months though depending what side he plays on and then just you know yeah just burst through but I think yeah he's um yeah, because it, it's a big body game, Origin, and you know he's the perfect specimen to be on that Origin <laughs> field at that time. Like, and I think what's also exciting is you know him and you can see him and Tino are, are building yes. something at the Titans uh, as young guys. Like, they're probably like mid twenties. Oh, yeah, I reckon. Yeah. So um, you know, I'm I'm sure you know when Tino sees Fifita come onto the field, they're both gonna be like. Let's fucking go. Yes. So, I mean, uh, yeah, I'd have David Fafita over Ruben Cotter. Yeah. So, I guess that sort of sums it up Mm. uh, in a nutshell. I think we'll come back to Queensland and uh, we can go through the Blues 1 to to 17, who we think um, will be starting lineup from the uncle's point of view. Yes. Yep. Uh, But now we'll go through the Blues uh, team list and... Uh, we can yeah. just quickly go over it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for the Blues team, it's pretty, like obviously they've got a lot of um, injuries at the moment with the wingers, so it's a bit tough. Yeah. Um, and we don't know if Ado Car's 100% fully fit, mm. um, but he's coming back this week for the Doggies. Yeah. Team, I think. Yeah. 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 Up the Doggies. Oh, yeah. Um, so for fullback, I've got Teddy. It's just a no-brainer. No-brainer. Um, Tor on the on one wing and then um, I'll put the fox on the other wing um, actually no I haven't put the fox on the other wing I'll put um, Graham on the other wing and then I've got Turbo and the Trilla Mitchell in the centres yep um, for my six I've got Louis uh, Louis Louis and number seven Cleary uh, number eight pain in the ass pain ass uh, <laughs> number nine I've got Damien Cook uh, number ten I've got Junior Barlow uh, number eleven Liam Martin from the Panthers uh, number 12, Cameron Murray, and then number 13, Isaiah Yo. And then on the bench, I've got a bit of a, uh, sort of like a different approach. I've got Nico Hines. Yeah, Usually, okay. I think they'll probably go with Uppy and Damien swapping like 9 and 14, similar to what Ben Hunt and Queensland are doing with Grant, Grant, um, Gary, Harry Grant. Uh, <laughs> Harry Grant, what? Harry Grant. <laughs> what about the... What about, um, but yeah, so I've got Hines at 14, Angus Crichton. At yep. 15, yep. Uh, Homole Alakalatu, I think that's how you say his name, from um, Manly, and then Tyson Frizzell. 
Um, so I'm, I'm just going to... Freezy. I'm, yeah, this is um, a very left field kind of team, but I think they'll... Uh, yeah, that's what they'll kind of go with. What about the Fox Sport one? Yeah, yeah. So they've got uh, James Tedesco pullback. Yep. Uh, To'o and Crichton on uh, the wings. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, Latrell Mitchell and Campbell Graham in the centers. Oh, the, yeah. Then you've got uh, the Panthers duo, Luai and Cleary. Yep. Payne in the house <laughs> at number eight. Uh, Api Corusel starting. Okay, yeah. Um, Jake Trebojevic, 10. Yep. Hudson Young, oh. they've put at 11. Yep. Cameron Murray, 12. Isaiah Yeo, 13. Then you've got Cookie at 14 yeah uh and junior paulo coming off the bench and leah martin junior totola oh 17 from the rabbits yeah and, wow there's so there's a quite a few um differences yeah yeah there. so we got a bit to discuss yeah. with the blues <laughs> you won't worry about that yeah. <laughs> no, no i don't mind no. um so yeah let's run off uh, mm. first one yeah who do we have? So we've got, uh, I've got Graham and oh, yes. they've got, um, they've got um, Crichton. Crichton. Um, so I think with them, they've gone Graham in the centers. I think just because of Turbo's injuries. Yeah. I think you, you hear it every week. The commentators say like, oh, he's only gone 50%. He's only gone 50%. So maybe they're thinking, you know, he's not, probably up to origin yeah. standard yep. yet um, and Campbell Graham is just a no brainer he's been yeah, killing he's been it killing at it, yeah. centre um, for the bunnies so um, that's probably why they've done that and yep. Stephen Crichton on the wing that's an interesting one yeah um, I think you know if Fox is fit they don't make that call no uh, so yeah what are, what are your thoughts on those yeah. two I, I think I think Crichton, he's been playing well, but you need a wing, like a specialist winger. And I, I know I've gone Graham here just because of form. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Fox, Fox, I think if he was fit, he'll no doubt get get a start here. Yeah. And I think um, I'd, I'd pick him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For but sure. Graham, I've just gone Graham just because he's been in un, unreal form. Unreal form. Yeah. Unreal. Killing it. And uh, what was the next one we had? Uh, so we had uh, David... Uh, I've started with Damien Cook, but they've gone with Uppy. I think, uh, um, you know, it, it's a flip of a coin with these two. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just, they're both similar. Like, I, I guess not similar. Uppy's probably a little bit more crafty. Yeah. You know, like, darts out a dummy off and passes well and does his, like a good passing game and good kicking game, but Cookie's got a better running game. Yeah. So I think, you know, whatever Freddie feels like, he might just flip a coin in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I think, you know, Uppy's form hasn't been as good just because he's been with the Tigers yes yeah so looking at it I think yeah the start of the year Cookie's one step ahead yeah he's been playing unreal yeah. like you know his, his work rate through the middle is unbelievable like makes a lot of tackles 100%. Um, he's doing that what he used to be doing before darting from yeah dummy half and he's just so quick uh, so, so quick. yeah like you said Flip of the coin, yeah. um, can't really tell. No. Nah. Next one. Um, so I've gone Barlow at 10 and they've started with Jake. Yeah. That was a tough one for me leaving <laughs> Jake here because I think he epitomizes what Origin is. And I think if we're being honest, I'll probably take Angus Crichton out and yeah. put Jake, Jake in that just because, you know, I, I think I forgot about him. I completely forgot about him when I did this <laughs> team. Yeah. But he's, yeah, I, I definitely have him. I, I don't think I disagree with that Fox Sport one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think he he's been injured. I think he's yes, back this yes, weekend. Yeah, yeah. That's partially yeah. why I didn't think about him because yeah, yeah he he's, was, the last two weeks he's been injured. He's been injured. Uh, he Manly cup. haven't been going nah. great since he's been out. Yeah, true. Um, so yeah, it's a tough one. He's, if he's full fit, ready to go, um, you have him have him in the middle, and he's gonna chop any bloke that oh, runs at bro. him. He's tackle. They they used to tell me. Um, about like people that are a little bit older about Trevor Gilmeister and his Ooh, tackling yeah. back in the 90s they say Jake Trevovich and him are like they used to, his nickname was the X Trevor Gilmeister yeah. he used to just chop people in half cut you in half bro, yeah. so now like Jakey 
He's X, the man. X 2.0. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just play, just wearing the wrong colours. Bro, oh yeah. <laughs> um, what do we got next? Uh, we've got uh, just the... Oh, I've gone Liam Martin to start, but I think they've got... Um, Hudson Young. Hudson Young, yeah. Yeah, that's a left field one. Yeah. Like, I don't know if Freddie's gonna play him. Nah. Because, uh, you know, they want to... You want to stay true to, you know, the your loyal, forward pass, yes. loyalty, like yep. what you said earlier. Yep. Um, so, yeah, that's a left field one. If he does come into the team, I'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Cause I, and also, Liam Martin's played for the Kangaroos last year, and they won a World Cup, and he also played Origin, even though, like, the Blues lost, Yeah, I think. And then the connection with Isaiah Yo, Jerome Luai, Brian Toro, and the Nathan Higgins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it all works out. Um, and then the bench is just completely different. Yeah, the bench, the bench is completely different because we yeah. spoke about those guys. Yeah. But, um, they had Damien Cook, Junior Paolo on the bench, mm. um, and Liam Martin on the bench. And yeah, left field one, Junior Totola. Yeah. Another left field. Yeah. I feel like they're just trying to fuck up the blues. Right, exactly. <laughs> they're just trying to throw them off. Maybe some queens then that wrote that article. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote that team up. It's probably fucking. Uh, Gordon Tallis. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I've gone with Hines, Angus, Crichton, Hamole, and Frizzell. But yeah, once Turbo comes in, I think I'll have a play around and mix this team up. And yeah, it'd be a lot different. Yeah. I've, I've, I want to see Hamole, mm. Omakowatu play. Yes, yes. Um, I think he's he's earned it. Yeah. Uh, you know, whether they start him or play him off the bench. We'll, we'll find out on did, Sunday. Yeah, did you see... Do you remember the tackle he put on Olam? Like, oh, Olam never gets rattled. He was... Yeah. First one to hit Olam. Yeah. Like, fucking spot on. Yeah. Like, legal tackle. Just folded him in half. Oh. Like, it, just bringing that to Origin, like, you need big hits. Origins have, yeah. like, big hits, big bodies, yeah. like you were saying before. Yeah. Like, oh, it'd be just... Fights would be going... I reckon... Uh, oh. Oh. He was the only one to reverse the Simbu stone. Bro, yeah. <laughs> Simbu is the province that... Oh, is it a province or a town that Justin is from? Province, province yeah. yeah, yeah. Simbu is the province that yeah. Olam's from. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Ola Kawatu reversed him. <laughs> it was tough to see. Simbu stone. Simbu stone. Um, yeah, so that's, yeah. that's Blues. Mm. Um, before we finish up here... Um, Let's let's go through Queensland team, yeah, and make our selection. Okay, yeah. So I think you know, Ponga at one. Yeah, we both agree with that. Yeah. Even though Walshie's been unreal, yeah, Ponga just came back that weekend, oh. like that night game. Fuck. He, he looked like he was a different bloke. Yeah. Like, I don't know. He's just electric in everything that he touched. Yeah. Just yeah, fire. Well, apparently the Knights had a buy the week previous weekend yes and they said all the Knights boys went to Bali uh, for the weekend off or something but they said Ponga stayed because he was like wants to train and get ready for the right, weekend yeah. ahead yeah. Um, nice and it showed yeah on the weekend mm. he was their best player by far do you know a weird stat I also read every team that's come off a bye has gone and won the next week after uh, yeah so I've lost the weekend after the bye yeah. Oh no, I've gone and won. Like. Oh really? Yeah. Like the Knights. Um. I think who's got the Dolphins ever buy? They're like, playing the Storm so this weekend. Yeah. So Ooh. maybe. I, I think I'm not jump in. Gamble response. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah. So uh, not. I, I don't think all the teams, but maybe like, of the first nine runs, the yeah. seven or six team, yeah. six teams have gone and won the game. That's good. So maybe yeah, we'll see how the Dolphins show up this weekend, but. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got... Uh, um, we've got one. Sorry, we've got one. Yeah, we've got one. Yeah. Um, so, two wingers. Uh, I'd like to see Hammer on the wing. Yeah. And Cobbo. Cobbo, yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you, you have Do you have anything against... I know you want to see 600 no. ways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think based on form, those two, uh, those two would be good. Because Cobbo has been killing at the Broncos and Hammer... Yeah. Yeah, it's been doing well so yeah I agree with that yep yeah. happy with that alright and then we've got the centres um, you know Holmes Bell Holmes yep. and Gagai yeah um, you've got you know the young young kid 
Val Hunt, well, he's not that young anymore, yeah. but he's moving like he's fucking right. 21 or something. Yes. Uh, and then you've got Gaga, Superman, yep. origin time. Nah, yeah, I agree with that. But I think Gaga is just, he's one of those players where, like, he didn't have a bad game on the weekend. Like, he played well. Yeah. Yeah. He, he did his job. Yep. Yeah. And then we've got, uh, yeah, Munster and yes. Cherry. Yep. Uh, you're not picking anyone nah. else, so even though Cherry and they just walk into the <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> bro. No, a lot of Queenslanders are not fans of Cherry, which I mean I understand because he yeah. he's not your thirsting or what Cooper Kong that we used to like. Yeah. He's just a different sort of he halfback. Is different. He's different. Uh, but sometimes he pulls shit out of his ass. Yes, and Don't, you're like, holy bro, fuck. That there, there was a game in 2021, I think, when Queenslanders were just outsiders. Yeah. People saying the West team never picked. He had a good series. Oh, like he he so good. game three at Suncorp. Like he played even scored a try and yeah. like set up a couple. So he, he, yeah, he, I mean he, he's done things for the state that and he'll no doubt be captain too as well. I think. Oh um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think you know those few years where you know they we were had shit teams. Yeah. Um, he led from the front. Yeah. Uh, being the captain, so he'll be named captain again, and he'll be the seven. Uh, Papa Lee and Welch. Yeah. Um, this one's a, a hard one. A hard one, yeah. Where, where are you sitting on this? Uh, I'm, I'm leaning be- towards Christian. Yeah. Just because Papa Lee's, as you said, getting a, getting a bit old there. But yep. um, I think it'd just be good. Although the, one of the origins he played, he got knocked out with concussion, Christian Welch. So, yeah. Um, but I think we'll, we'll, uh, that's just based on, I guess, Melbourne Storm being a winning environment. Him as a leader. Not to yep. say Papa Lee won't be a leader, but... Yeah. And then... I guess that connection with money too as well from the storm at Harry Grant like kind of helps play yeah. it a little bit better. Similar to what I guess Blues are doing with the Panthers. Yep. I'm going to go with you on that yeah. one. I think Welch uh, as our number eight is mm. just strong yes. leader from the front. That's yes. What you want. That's what you need. Yep. Uh, then we go Ben Hunt. Yep. No brainer. No brainer. I think, you know, after last year, everyone knows what he can do yes. in origin. Uh, he'll be nine. Big two, no. So I'm no brainer yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. He's a fucking workhorse. Future captain of the Maroons, I reckon. Oh, yeah. yeah. That big mullet just <laughs> frolicking in the wind. Bro, oh. lovely word there, frolicking. Frolic, yeah. Very well described. Sometimes you just need to go out on the road and frolic in the park. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just sometimes. <laughs> you know? Get some cool breeze yes, in your hair. Yeah. I mean, if you have no hair like me, um, that's fine. Let it touch the skin, baby. <laughs> yeah, let it go. <laughs> Just let it go. <laughs> let it go. Um, okay. Um, Kurt Capewell. Yes. Felici Finn Diesel Kafusi. Kafusi. Yep, those yes, two no brainers. Yes. I, I want to see the Finn Diesel whack some blues. Oh, I reckon Jerome just looks like a good target for him to just get in, sh- like put a shoulder on him and then step over the top of him. Yeah. Like, He's running him. sideways on the field. <laughs> You Jerome just, likes to do that. He likes to yeah. dart and yeah. You just see this bald, <laughs> shiny bald head just dart. <laughs> oh, Lawrence and Axie. Uh, then we got Paddy Carrier. Oh, mate. I reckon. He's fucking, he's the new and improved Corey Parker. Oh, really? Oof. Best looking bloke in the Queensland team too as well. I reckon. Ooh, you reckon? There's a few there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Paddy Carrier, the man. Yeah. yeah, and then we've got uh, Harry Grant. Yes, off the bench, big Jaira. Yes, Jai. Lindsay Collins. Lindsay Collins, who's been a standout yeah, for the Roosters, I think. Yep. Uh, and finish off with the big David Defoe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yep, yeah. that's it. And that uh, that brings us. To our Queensland State of Origin teams. team, Game yep. One. Let's go. Let's fucking do it. If you guys, uh, you know, have any other players that you know we th- you thought we missed, and want to add, comment it below, uh, and yeah, share your lineups with us. Yes, yes, please, please do. We'd love, we'd love to see. Yeah, but thank you for another app. Yep. Thanks, Jackman. Thanks, Richie. Let's go. Okay.